All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another VR video. Welcome back to a Golf Plus video using the new attachment that I got for the Quail Hollow video. You can still buy this using the link in the description. And uh, I did want to say as well um, that I am looking forward to this immensely. Valhalla, of course, is going to be the home of the PGA Championship this week, starting tomorrow, actually. And we are going to check out the course, try it for ourselves before... We see how the pros do it. So I'm actually going to be playing from the tips as well. Because we, we broke 85 at Quail Hollow playing from the medium tees. It's a big difference. You can see the best score on the medium tees with the same settings is 12 under. And it drops to 4 under when you play from the tips. So this course is going to be no joke from the tips. I just played it on EA Sports PGA Tour today. You can check out that video today if you want and see the differences between them. We're going to play medium pins, low winds, green speed fast. Because I can't play the green speeds any faster, man. I swear to God, if I try, I will I will miserably fail. So it's not going to be quite as hard, obviously, as Quail Hollow, or sorry, as uh, Valhalla will be in real life or anything like that. Because I am not playing with the with the championship green speeds. But this should be a this should be a blast. I'm really looking forward to this. Please do drop a like if you enjoy the VR Golf Plus videos and want to see more. I don't even know where I'm looking. Am I looking at the camera? There's the camera right there. Hello, sir. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm actually going to start recording the gameplay now as well. I forgot I wasn't recording the gameplay yet. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, 18 holes, pro difficulty, back tees, pins medium. Uh, so yeah, you can see here, Crash Pier has the lowest score on this course from the from the back uh, tees, and it's four under. When you switch it to medium, it's 12 under. So that's a that's literally an eight shot difference. That's pretty insane when you think about it. So let's start this and see how tough the tips really are. I'm guessing my goal, to be honest, is to break 90. Like, uh, we, we shot 85 at Quail Hollow from the medium tees. Quail Hollow, I do think overall is a tougher course than Valhalla, um, at least in, in the video games that I play anyway. Maybe in, in VR or in real life, it'll be a different story, but that's the way I, I feel about it. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. This should be, this should be really, really challenging, but also uh, quite fun. And we'll see if we can break 90. Okay, so. Don't know where the hell I'm going. I need to be actually aiming out here like this. So if I can go like that, that's much, much better. I need the ball to be much, much closer to me though. Thank you very much. Okay, so first hole um, is a dog leg left. It's not too much of a dog leg to be fair, but we just, we just basically want to go right out there. Um, we don't want to be aiming anywhere near the pin. We want to go right out there. And I've been, I was been golfing in real life since, well, actually, I was only practicing, but in the simulator and stuff, and the new swing technique is working a treat. I'll say that much. So, like, setting up as if I'm hitting for a draw and then bringing it back on the inside, trying to get my hands as high as possible still, and then firing so I don't come over the top as much. So let's try it right off the first tee here and see what we can do, all right? That's not the start you want. <laughs> that is awful. Holy moly. All right. At least it's not OB. From the back tees, this is going to be difficult, man. I have a feeling this is good. We're 250 away here. I'm going to hit three wood. I'm in the deep rough here. I have a feeling this might be extraordinarily difficult, to be honest. You need to be careful. I'm not getting too close to the counter here and smash into it because this uh, this longer uh, golf attachment, you really got to be careful with it. Let's just get it out of here, honestly. I'm not too worried about getting into the green, but I'm going I'm to try. Look at that. Look at that shot. I mean, it was good. Uh, unfortunately, it just stayed a little bit right on me. But, okay, 74 yards. We've got an actual shot at getting this onto the green and hopefully getting up and down. I think I'm just going to smack a lob wedge. I'm going to hit this full rather than trying to like hit a, a, a tasty little sand wedge. I never use lob wedge like from this distance in real life. All, uh, to be honest, I've taken the lob wedge out of my bag in real life. Um, but yeah, I, I always use a... Um, let me just make sure everything is recording okay here. Yeah, everything is recording okay. I always use a uh, 54 or a 56 rather. Okay, let's see if I can get this on the green, though. It would be awesome if I could. I'm going to take my time a little bit more this round. Kind of make sure that we're, we're thinking about the shots and being smart, being reasonable. Let's just aim at the tower. That's pretty much right at it. Just pushed a little bit. Okay. All right. Pathetic loser. Not terrible. Up and down for a five. Could be a whole lot worse, you know. Look at this little fall off here. That's kind of a... That's kind of outrageous. Now, they have updated Valhalla in this game as well. When I was loading into the game, they said, basically, that they've done a big update to Valhalla to bring in championship tees and kind of updated the course uh, to look a little bit more like it does in real life at the moment for the Major. So, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to try a little just chip and run here. A little bump and run. How about in? How about in? 
About in! Oh! <laughs> Lips out on me, man. Oh, that would have been a phenomenal par to start the day, but... Okay. Bogey. You know what? I'll take that from the tips. And we were really struggling off the tee. So, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Now, the tee is probably going to be a hard, the hardest part because I actually didn't practice driver really much at all with the new um, swing technique. So, when I was up in real life. And real life obviously doesn't transition over to video or to VR every time. But we're going to try. That's good. It's left. It's in the water. It's a good strike, at least. Stay there. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's actually fine. We're in the rough, of course, but... God, these tips are long, man. <laughs> this is long, dude. Like, look how far away we are. I just hit it, my, a decent drive there. I don't know how far I hit it, but, like, I feel like I hit that pretty decent. And we're still nowhere near. I'm actually just going to take this and go up to the right. I'm, I'm going to aim at the right TV tower. I'm not even going to take this on in any capacity because I just know that I ain't getting there. So I want to put the club in there. I want to be aiming at the TV tower to the right. And then kind of just set up for the draw. Just like that. Get up. Yeah, see, it's not quite going as far as I want it to. Tips is no joke. Tips is no joke. We're going to have to play for a bogey on every hole, man. <laughs> I am just not hitting it far enough. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, 66-yard shot here. Uh, I pretty much need to be hitting this a similar way to the last one, just not quite as hard. Where's that going, sir? That's a shank. That's terrible. That's terrible. Genuinely, that is awful, though. Wow, what a terrible shot. Okay. All right, let's calm down. Let's, set, let's steady the ship here, okay? Let's just steady the ship, have a look around, get to grips with this. So apparently the closer these are together, the more it breaks. So that's good to know. I didn't know that until someone commented it. Thank you to whoever that was. All right, a little 20-yard shot. Let's make it work. Let's make it work, baby. Go. Um, okay. It's okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. 17 foot for bogey on the second here. I think breaking 100 might be more reasonable here today, guys. Okay, it's breaking right to left, not extreme. Just go for it. Good effort. Good effort, honestly. Good stroke. I am having a much better putting stroke with this uh, with this putter now. I will say that much. That's a tough hole, though. Very. Oh, that's a par five. What am I talking about? I thought that was a par five, a par four. Okay, it's a bogey then. We're fine. We're still on track for 18 over. Breaking 90. We're fine. Okay. I, I, was, I thought that was a par 4 for some reason, and like the tips were just outrageous. But okay, that's okay then. This is downhill. Is it downwind? To be fair, there's not much wind. I think, I, I think I'm still going to hit the 208, because I, I find that I don't quite hit the same distance as the actual club. Like, I never hit it the full distance, I find. So I need that ball to just be a little bit further away from me, please. Um, and yeah, so I want to be aiming kind of at the tower. If I'm aiming at that TV tower middle of the green, I think that's the smart play. And we can kind of just make our way from there, okay? Just like that. Fade. Fade a little bit for me. Come on. Come on. It didn't. Really good contact. Really good contact. Good shot, honestly. We'll take that. Now, it is a little bit of a difficult one here. Uh, do I want to get the loft on this with a lob wedge and try and just land it on the down slope here? Or do... No, I think I'm, you know what? I think I'm getting used to hitting the sand wedge now around the greens. And that's what I do in real life. That's how I loft the club in real life. So I think it makes more sense to try and just get used to one club rather than switching between the two. So I'm going to try and just land this with a little bit of loft about halfway. That's way too far. Wow. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Frick, man. That's tough. Okay. It's a tough one, man. No doubt about that. That's a tough one. Okay. I'm going to putt this. Two putts ain't the end of the world. Bogey. As I said, I want to average a bogey a hole. Oh, my God. I smacked it. Turlock. Okay. All right. This is going to be just like left lip, I would say. I hit that so hard. I can't believe it. I thought going the fr through the fringe, I might need to hit it harder. Not that hard, sir. Bang. Huge save. 
huge safe. All of you, all of you non-believers, where are you now? Huh? There was no non-believers because I didn't even tell people I was doing this in advance. But yeah, if you want to see me play some other VR courses, please do drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you like these VR videos and want to see more, as I said. Um, okay, yeah, this, I actually just drove the green on this hole um, in EA Sports PGA Tour, but I can carry it, like, I can hit a lot further in EA Sports PGA Tour. I think I still hit driver, because I can take this bunker out of play with driver if I carry it 260 maybe, so I think I am going to do that. So I want to aim at that bunker pretty much and just try and carry it over it. Ah, just going right on me a little bit. You know what? That's perfect. That is so good, actually. Good strike, good shot. 98 yards left. Nearly a full sandwich, just like a 95%, a 90% 90 sandwich, kind of. We can make that work, baby. So I want to be aiming... I mean, I can aim pretty much right at the pin here, I think. I don't think there's any, uh, any necessary evil. It's not taking any unnecessary risk by aiming right at the pin here, so... Let's just aim at the pin and fire away. Fire away with me, honey! Sit down for me, baby. Sit down for me. Good shot. A little bit of spin on it. That was a really good contact there. Really, really nice contact. It is a beautiful course, like the scenery. They said they've updated the scenery as well. And it is gorgeous. I'll say that much. Not much in the way of break here, but it's a tough putt. It's downhill. It's going to be quick, no doubt. we got to be really acutely aware of how quick this is going to be down that hill. Quicker than that, son. Sit! Actually, good pace. Really good pace. And that could be our first par of the day, son. That could be our first par of the day. You know what? We're getting used to this VR stuff, man. I'm getting... I, I've seen a huge improvement, I feel like. Um, ever since I got this inside takeaway, dead wrist technique, the Nikolai Hoygaard technique, I feel like we've made a huge, huge difference here. So, yeah, you can go up the right-hand fairway there, but that doesn't seem like a reasonable option. So I'm going to go... Kind of right at these bunkers here. That is not right between the bunkers, sir. That's a poor one. I mean, we bombed it. It was a long, it was a, it was a long drive, but we're in the middle of the heavy stuff here. Okay, 140. Have a pitching wedge. I definitely need, need at least one more. I need the nine iron, and I need to hit this full. I think. Okay. Well, this is in the deep stuff. This might be quite difficult here, sir. If I can get this close, I'll be, yeah, I'll be very happy. All right, I'm going to aim just left of that TV tower, in between the flag and the TV tower, kind of. What is that, dude? Ugh. I'm, not I'm not closing the club face. I'm, I'm leaving the club face wide open here, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Not good. Not good. I'm going to hit a little lob wedge, try and land it up there, land it close, and get the par. Go. Oh, great shot. Oh, it's just wonderful. Short game king, baby. And we have a chance to save par. This would be a mega par save here, man. After going in the heavy stuff and then kind of shanking it out of that nearly, this would be a mega par didn't fucking read the break enough tap in bogey though can't complain really too much tap in bogue okay four over through five we're well on track to break 90 here maybe breaking 85 isn't out of the realms of possibility hate this hole hate this hole with a passion this hole is so difficult man and i need to be sure i need to be 100 percent sure that i don't hit it right here and i mean dead set sure because if i hit it right here we're we're looking at triple or double Yes! Come on, baby! That's more like it now. I think I was just exaggerating the, uh, the inside a little too much. That's perfect. That's so good, dude. So good. They have, they have um, done up this course quite nicely, I'll say that much. Because I played this, I think, with respawn at one point. And it definitely wasn't looking quite as nice as this. I think I need to hit this. Because like, if I hit anything more than this, it's too much. I think this is going to be the perfect club, boys. I really do think we got the perfect club here, so let's see what we got. I'm starting to get really into these VR videos now that I've got the new attachments as well. I think this makes such a big difference. And thank you to whoever did order it with my, uh, with my link in the last video as well. Appreciate that. 
so good. Go, please. Oh my goodness, what a shot. Just had a little too much juice on it coming out of there. What a shot, man. Unreal. And this ain't easy, though. This ain't easy at all. Okay. I'm going to try and just get this to land real soft. I'm going to hit the sandwich, though. Nope, didn't mean to go down here, sir. That is a worldly of a shot there. Really good. I think we don't have to do overdo it here with the with the loft because it does kind of go downhill the whole way, but it, it kind of is more at the start that it's fully downhill. Go in. What a chip. What a par this is. What a par this is going to be, man. Unreal. That's one of my best pars ever in this game. Like, genuinely, that was mega. Perfect three wood, perfect three iron, perfect chip. Tap in par. And where are we going from here? Oh, Lord. Yeah, see, I went down the right side. Um, I went down the right side uh, in, in EA earlier. And I think you have the better angle from the right side if you do want to get on to, which is extremely difficult to do regardless. But yeah, I think we're going to go down the right side again in this, in this uh, VR as well. What is that, man? <sighs> I think I tried too hard to cl cl uh, close the club face there and actually just like cut across it completely. All right, at least we know it's, it's always going to be difficult to reach in two anyway. So I can just take a three wood down the, down this, uh, down the right hand side of the fairway and just let it release. Just like that. Perfect, man. That's so good. That's so perfect. I know it didn't go that far, but that is honestly a perfect little layup there. It didn't need to go far. That's the thing. It still went 200 yards. Okay. All right. We, got, we left ourselves a long third one, though. I'll tell you that much, man. We left ourselves a long third one. I think 174 is the club, though. We got to hit it smooth. We got to hit it smooth as butter, baby. It's not pilling to the wind, though. Is this enough? I'm going to hit the six iron, actually. Because I, yeah, I think six iron's the club. I do not want to be in that bunker short. So I'll say six iron's the club. We're going to aim pretty much right at that, uh, at that pin because I don't want to take water out of play completely. If it goes right, it goes right. And if it goes left, it's on the green. Oh, no, it went left. I hit that so clean. That's in the water. Carry it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Whew. I was lucky. <laughs> I was worried about that. I hit that so smooth, man. Like, I really hit that so smooth. Okay, that's the way I need to be hitting it. Just need to get the aim correct. Okay. So I, I, I want to line this, like, about 10 foot left of the pin and just feed it in there. Maybe not even 10 foot, like, 5, 6 foot left of that pin and just let it feed in there. Just like that. Just like that, baby. Just like that. Just needed a tiny bit more power. Good shot. We're giving ourselves a par chance. Okay. Par chance is a tough one. Breaking down the hill. Left to right. Let's see if we can make it. This would be a mega par. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, what an effort. Oh, what an effort. Tap in both. Can't complain. We're, we're without a double so far. This is mega on pro. Like, we're playing really good golf here, man. To be fair, I'm not even playing my best stuff. I, I think we're just scrambling extremely well. Um, like we've had, we've hit some good shots. There's no doubt about that, but I have had some bad ones as well. It's kind of a mixed bag at the moment. We'll say that much. Nine foot down. I think 174 is the club here. 174 is the club. We're going to make it work. If I hit the exact same shot as last time here, this is going to be the ideal shot. I'm going to aim over kind of the middle of that bunker there, to be honest. If it goes left, it's going to be close. No, oh, it went right. Sliced it. Sliced it and diced it. Not ideal. Okay. All right, let's see if we can keep our scrambling game up. Scrambling game's been strong so far. Putting's been okay. So let's just get it, uh, let's just keep this up, man. Keep this up. So pretty much the exact same distance as last time. Maybe a tiny bit more. Tiny bit less, rather. Didn't hit it. Wow. Wow. I tried to hit more of a chip shot than a pitch shot there. I should have been going for, like, more of a pitch shot. And now we have two putts for a bogey. We need to be careful here. Okay. Up the hill. At the end, it turns back towards the pin. So I'm just going to kind of go right at the pin. Right there. Right there. Oh, I thought it was going to turn back right at the end. I smashed it, though. It smashed it through the break, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be much slower than that. It was up the hill, and now we're going to 
have our first double if I don't make this. Come on, clutch up, baby. Again, you leave it an inch short, man. Come on, come on. We double the par three and we're seven over and out through eight. God damn it, that sucks. I was just talking about how well we were doing. We hadn't had a double yet. And what do I do? I double the very next hole. All right, what is, we can easily carry the bunker on the right there. So I want to aim left of that, of those bunker, that big bunker there, to be honest. Just kind of like run it up that fairway a little bit. That's the one. That's the one there now. That's the one I need to be hitting. I was more dead wrists in the, in, than the previous ones. Previous ones, I've been bringing it back on the inside, but I haven't been doing the dead wrist that I was doing before as much. I really thought about the dead wrist there now, and it was perfect. This is 24 foot up. I need another, another club. Okay, this should be perfect. I Like, I mean that. I think, I gotta be honest, I think, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's a backstop, and there is. I remember there being a backstop on this hole. There is a backstop. So if I can get this just even past the pin, it should feed back down towards the, um, towards the pin. Oh, I just pushed it a tiny bit. It's not far away. That's good, though. That's good. That's good. We'll take that all day. Honestly. Birdie putt. I thought it was going to be further right. That's fine. It's a 23-foot putt for a birdie. Can't complain about that. Hey, guys. All right. Let's, let's birdie this. Come on. Go on, then. Go. Travel. Go. Didn't hit it. I was scared of it. I was scared of it, man. Okay, we need to make this one. Not that much in it, to be honest. Just play right lip. Right lip and firm. Yes! Followed it in there. Beautiful. Seven over front nine. We're out in 43. You know what? Considering I'm playing the tips at bloody uh, a PGA Championship course, I'm not going to be too upset with that at all. We'll take that all day long. And we got a 586-yard par 5 coming up. Jesus Lord, okay. Ah, oh, floppity wrists there, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. To be honest, I don't think we could have reached in two anyway. I think there's zero chance we would have reached in two. So, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a three iron and just lay up. Because I think the three iron. Where do I want to be aiming? Is the question here. I need to have a look. Get up on top of this hill. Yeah, I want to be aiming at like that tree up there. I can just see the top of it. So yeah, that's the that's the tree I want to be aiming at. Ah, oh, pushed it again, man. Dead push. The push is clearly my weak shot at the moment, guys. I think that's fairly obvious. Can I get it there, though? Yeah, I, I can still get it there. No doubt about it. Yeah, there's not much room at the back. I think I'm going to hit the nine there. Where the hell is the ball? There it is. Okay, cool. I can't even see the ball anymore. Well, this is going to be a disaster. Literally no idea. Where the hell did my ball go? Where did my ball go? What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Where, what, I need to re-see that shot. Uh, can I re Like, what the fuck happened? I genuinely- did I shank it? Like, I couldn't see! I literally have no idea what happened there. That's a nightmare. Do I go for the trees or 90% air technique here, guys? I'm going for the trees or 90% air technique. Fuck it. It's my only option. This is turning into a disaster. <laughs> What's happening? Why does it keep changing my camera angle, man? Like when I'm hitting the ball, it's like completely shifting. What is that about? It's never done that before. Even when I've hit a bad one or something, I don't know what's happening. It's weird as hell, brother. All right, let's get this up and down. What am I doing all of a sudden? You are a dick on this hole, man. I'm falling apart on this hole. I'm literally so bad here. This is treacherous. This is my sixth shot here. You need to get up and down for a double on this hole. Up and down for double. Come on. Let's avoid having a triple, please. I do not want an eight right now. Please go. Please go! Okay. We need this. Please, 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 please! Eight! Eight, man! Come on! I'm back to 10 over through 10 now. All my good work undone. 
We're back struggling to break 90 now again. God damn it. That is heartbreaking. Seven over front nine. We start the back nine with a triple. That's tough to take, that is. I, I gotta be honest, that's tough to take. Yikes, Amundo. All right, downhill, downwind, slightly downwind, not much. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna aim at the bunker on the right. Can't, well, actually, I'm gonna aim more at the TV tower, to be honest, very left of that bunker. Can't believe that, man. Fuck you, Turlock! What is happening all of a sudden? I've lost it completely. I've completely lost it here. God almighty, have I lost it. Have I ever. Wow. Go, go, go. Didn't hit that nearly hard enough, man. A bit lucky to get on the green even. Oh, God. This is turning into a disaster, guys. We need to be careful here. We, all right, let's just try and calm down. Way too hard, is it? Yep. It's actually not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Okay. Need to make this, though. Come on, please. Please, Turlock. Yes. Good save. Good bogey. Okay. 11 over. 55 shots to here. Okay. Where are we going? Do I want to do the old down the right technique on this hole? No, I'm not going to bother. It's not worth it, I don't think. Okay. Better strike. I just wasn't aiming far enough left. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've, I've, I've fallen apart here. I'm falling apart. I'm going through it again. I don't give a damn. I'm going through the trees again. I've lost my head. Again, they're doing that thing. I hit a tree, clearly. I shanked it, I think. I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. Oh my god! I'm falling apart! Alright, we can actually get this on though. Just cop on now, please. No way. Yes, it was an accidental hit. I don't know, guys. I'm shanking every shot all of a sudden. I literally wasn't doing this at all before. What's happening? What has happened here in the last 10 minutes? Like, I don't know. What's happened? Good shot. I mean, I can't, I can't believe how badly this has fallen apart now. I can't believe it. This is pathetic. My turn. Good putt. That's a triple. Another triple. 14 over. Triple bogey, bogey, triple bogey. What has happened, guys? I drove the green on this hole earlier. You know, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I can do that now. <laughs> I got to be completely honest with you guys. I don't think I can do that right now. Much better strike. Much smoother. But yeah, I see it only carries 189 then. Okay. It's fine, though. I mean... Completely fine. 99 yards. Okay. Let's go a little past the pin. Smooth as butter. Let's go. Good shot. Birdie putt. Come on. This is more like it now. Can I please get a good run of holes again? Like, what happened in that, in that three-hole stretch there? I truly don't know. We just lost all of our ability right in front of our eyes. Let's get a birdie to get the feeling back, eh? Let's get the feeling right. Just tattooed it. God, I like I can't do anything right anymore. Even I give myself a birdie putt and I just absolutely lambast it. So it's seven foot by, I don't know, eight foot. Good save. Huge power. Huge power. Come on, we're not done yet. Let's get another one here. Oh my god, it's 250 yard power four. Power three rather. I wish it was a power four. Yep. I truly do wish it was a par 4, but it ain't. It's simply... This is such a ridiculous old man. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I just don't... I, I, I don't have it anymore. I lost it. I was playing pretty well for a while there. I wasn't hitting every shot good, but I was hitting like half of them good. Now I'm hitting maybe a tenth of them good. And this is not easy, brother. Sit. Sit. 
Great shot. Honestly, phenomenal shot. If we could par this, I would be over the moon. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Getting ourselves 20 foot for a par on a really difficult hole. It's not that bad. Even a bogey here wouldn't be the end of the world. Turn. Just turn right there, right there, right there, right there. Good effort. Really good effort and a good par. Good bogey, rally. Good bogey. Um, 15 over. Okay, we need 20 shots in these last four holes. So four, eight, 12, 17. I could bogey three of them. Well, bogey two of them and par two of them for 89. It's not out of the realms of possibility, okay? We got this. We got this, baby, we got this. So I wanna be aiming pretty much at the grand stand up there. Even if it goes right, then it's not the end of the world. I didn't hit it hard though. I hit it really soft. Yeah. See, when you sw when you swing it real smooth in this game, it acts like you've you've tapped it for some reason. I don't know. Uh, that's the way I feel, at least in this game. No, I can't take that risk. I gotta hit this, unfortunately. I mean, it's too much, clearly, but this could go terribly wrong. But I gotta give it a shot. Oh, hit a lampshade. What a shot, though. Really? That's in the water? I hit that so good. Man. Okay. I don't know, then. I, I really thought I hit that beautifully. I really thought I hit that smooth as butter, man. That's two shots I thought I hit really good there on this hole, and neither of them ended up being really good. So, clearly I'm not doing something right. Oh, what a shot. Phenomenal shot. Really good. Chance to save a bogey. Okay, let's try and save a bogey, man. Come on. Didn't hit it. Wow. Pathetic. Double trouble here, boys. And now we have to... Yeah, we have to par our way home, pretty much. We have to par our way home, and I tell you what, I'm not playing well enough to par my way home. And this is the longest par four on the bloody core. So, holy shot talking mushrooms, brother. That's the worst drive I've ever hit. That might be perfect. I'm not even trolling. That's so bad that it's good. <laughs> right in the middle of the fairway, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, just a pure slice. And I don't know what's happened where I'm hitting every shot as a massive slice now. Like, it's, it's heartbreaking. Like I felt like I had it, and now I've just lost it. But that's golf. That's golf, man. Right, this is either going to hit the tree and come directly down, or I'm going to sail on through them. i got to take some risks now. Yeah, I'm just doing the same thing every time now. That's in the water. Holy shit. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we're having just a disastrous back nine here, my friends. Truly disastrous. Let's try and get up and down. Not enough. Well, it's not actually that bad. Just needed to be further right. Okay. Ah, lads, I'm getting frustrated now. I'm really, really, really upset. Oh my god. What am I doing? Turlock, 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 what are you doing? Hey, screw you guys up there! What are you looking at? It's a casual round of golf. Hit it, you sausage. You sausage. Triple. The third triple on the back nine. Calm down. All right, birdie, birdie, finish, and we're good. <laughs> birdie, birdie, finish, and we're good. <laughs> Please hit a good drive. Please get it out of your system, sir. Please. You suck! I'm literally letting my wrist do the entire swing now. I was doing dead wrist earlier. Now I'm literally just breaking my wrist every second shot here. Like completely, where am I going? What am I doing? I'm having the meltdown of all meltdowns here. I need a bloody lob wedge to get out of here. What are we doing? Someone explain it. Someone explain how we've gone this awry. How it's gone this bad all of a sudden. Sweat dripping down my forehead now. Just 
hit someone in the grandstand, please. Hit the cart path, okay. 20 over. Yeah. This has gone pretty bad, huh? All of a sudden. After a 7 over front nine, by the way. Go in. Oh my god, that's the best shot I've hit all day. That might be the best shot I've hit all day, man. That's the wildest bogey I've ever had in this game. I'm serious. All right, we need, a, we need an albatross on the last for 90. Right, okay then. <laughs> oh, lads, what have we done? How, have it, how has it gone this bad, man? I just don't understand. I really do not get it. Like, look, every shot's a dead slice now. Like, I was hitting it really good. I'm truly baffled. I'm baffled. I really am baffled. Every shot's just a dead slice now. I do not understand it whatsoever. I don't even think I can get a five wood up there, to be honest, so. Every shot's a slice. Dead slice. Dead slice, every shot. <sighs> there you go. How what? Still shit, okay, cool. All right, all good. You suck so much cock, dude, honestly. You are so bad. I mean that if I don't chip this one in, I'll never play again. Oh, come on. What an effort. What an effort. It's got to be up there with one of the worst back nines you'll ever see in your life. It's a 52 on the back. Nine shots worse than the front nine. And that is truly one of the biggest meltdowns I've ever seen on the back nine here. Triple, bogey, triple, par. Bogey, double bogey, triple bogey, bogey, double bogey. And, I mean, that is... Like, I know the back nine at Valhalla is a little bit tougher than the front, but... Holy shit. Do I need vengeance? I'm going to play this course again this week, because I can do so much better than that. I don't know what happened, man. I was playing, like, relatively well on the front nine, and I just, all of a sudden was slicing every shot 30 yards right, like I was last time. Um, but I thought I'd fixed it. Evidently not. Our longest hole was on 18, even though I went in the water with it, so I don't know how that counts. But anyway, three green regulations is clearly unacceptable. From the tips, of course, this was, so a lot more difficult than Quail Hollow from... Well, to be honest, Quail Hollow is really difficult. But, like, to be fair, I think if I played middle tees next time, I want to see what I can shoot. Like, is the tips really that much more difficult? I'm not sure. But either way, guys, um, that is just a depressing, a depressing end to, uh, to that round there. Back nine meltdown. I apologize. Um, but maybe we can come back later this week and, and get vengeance on this. Let me know if you want to see that, and I'll try and do my best to, to get that done for you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I think I kind of just, I literally lost my head a little bit on the back nine there. I definitely did. But uh, it was like, it was after I was already playing bad for a sustained period of time that I lost my head. Um, and that never helps. So, yeah, thanks for watching, though. Appreciate it. See you next time. Peace out, my friends. Bye.